story we first brought you last year. A family in Sheboygan serves as a hospice foster family, taking in children with terminal illnesses. It's something so difficult that many might not understand why they do it. Tonight, we want to update you about their little boy, Charlie, whose will to survive is spreading so much joy and love that can never be measured. Corey Schallert and her family treat three-year-old Charlie like any of their other children. They have eight of their own and have fostered seven more, including some like Charlie, with terminal illnesses. We need to live like we're dying, and yet we need to live like we're going to be here another hundred years. They've been a foster family since 2012. Corey's a registered nurse with hospice care experience. Charlie has hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. Doctors initially told the family he would live to be about two years old. We were kind of living day by day and not knowing for sure whether or not he was going to be imminently passing away. But recently a miracle happened. Charlie's thriving, well taken care of, and loved by so many. Doctors said plan for longer. Charlie could indeed pass away at any time simply because he could obstruct and that trait could get blocked and he would not be able to get um, enough oxygen. He said on the flip side, because you attend to him so quickly, you know, you may be able to remedy that time and again, and he could conceivably live for another 10, 12 years. Elated by the news, but in turn worried, Corey and her husband were concerned with their ages, finances, and physically caring for Charlie. If you're going to live like you're living, then you need to make more preparations for doing this long term. She says her faith in God kept them going, with others in the community helping them with needs. We got our Keller Williams van today. Keller Williams great. donated a van which can now hold 10 passengers and is safety regulated for wheelchairs. And local companies donated a wheelchair ramp and are building this Four Seasons room so Charlie can enjoy the sunshine and listen to birds. That space would be so beautiful that it'd be like, oh, I want to hang out with Charlie, you know, let it be my time. Corey and her family also have a 13 year old who is terminally ill right now. For many, doing this may be hard to understand. There is no quit. There is no lay down and let somebody else deal with this. It's a family effort when her husband says he stands behind 100 percent. It's full. It's full time. But like I said, Charles is my hero. Mark explains bringing in children for hospice care has brought them all closer together and taught their children lifelong lessons. Charles is never going to go fishing. He's never going to throw a ball. He's not going to grow up and run and play and ride a bike. And I think uh, my children appreciate the simple things of life that so many take for granted. They want others who might be interested in taking in children to know it will be difficult. It's gonna be a whole lot harder than you ever dreamed it would be. And then on the flip side, it's gonna be so much more worth that than you ever could have imagined. She never wants any child to die in a hospital alone. The journey will include heartbreak in the end, but she says your heart will be so full. He was, he was quite complicated and that we were signing up for a known heartache, but that somebody had to decide that he was worth crying over, um, being loved enough that you would be sad that he wasn't here. Making all of their lives full of laughter joy and love. Well, they certainly are an incredible family. Corey is currently writing a book that's set to be released next spring. If you're interested in becoming a foster parent or want more information, just visit our website, NBC26.com, and click on this story.